Hey everybody, welcome back. So, we were just exploring the kitchen. Where by we, she means she and me. Yes, Icon is back. <laughs> For a Halloween special. Halloween special! Well, hopefully, so, hopefully I'll be returning at some point in the near future. Well, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it might not be for a little while, actually, because I'm going to be pretty busy. I have actually a, quite a bit of a backlog of videos, because I've had a couple weekends of crud. You want to do him? Sure. Well, my dear, hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll all be over. You'll be hooked up to my machine! Getting your pretty brains removed. You'll never get away with this. Dave and his friends will rescue me. <laughs> Ralph, that's awful. You and your meteor can eat slime. Meteor? Now, if you all recall at the beginning... That's what she thinks! There was a meteor that landed. <laughs> help, help, help! Dave's like on the other side of that door and he can't hear. Um... Do you call it the very beginning of the game a meteor landed next to the house? I remember. Yes. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess I'll finish my thought I had a second ago. I, I actually uh, have a backlog of videos, but I'm going to be kind of busy here soon, because I'm going on vacation, and then I might have to go to the office, and then uh, it'll be Thanksgiving, I think. Anyways, so you'll notice that there's two gargoyles here at the bottom of the stairs. Although, for some reason, when I was a kid, it still looked like two heads of the Statue of Liberty for some reason. That's all I can see. I can't see a gargoyle, but... Hey, game says gargoyle, so... You push the gargoyle on the right, whoop, this door opens. Oh, but it closes as soon as you leave, so... I think I see where this is going. <laughs> so let's go in here, where I hid before. Because they can't see you when they walk into a place, so I think they can only carry one kid down to the dungeon at a time, but still. Can't be too cautious. Alright, so in here we got... Move. We have a cassette... Player and a what was it cassette door or was it just door cabinet door cabinet yeah. door yeah and we also have an old timey radio up here oh actually this is old fashioned radio I'm a little surprised oh there's a radio tube that's getting even older <laughs> like a vacuum tube it is a vacuum tube I'm not gonna get into that it's just say it made old technology work <laughs> I'm not getting into it um so now we have a radio tube. And you'll also notice, if you have very good vision, there is a key on top of this glass chandelier. Unfortunately, we can't reach it, because if I try to go to key, he just, like, stands there, like, I can't do it. Get on the couch, no. So we'll have to get that key somehow. Have you tried jumping off the couch? <laughs> Jump is not a command in this game. Have you tried using the couch? Uh, I can use it when I get back in there. So it looks like... There's darkness in here. Oh, I saw a lamp. This is Pixel Hunt 101. Alrighty, so now it looks like we're in a library. I want a sign. Let's read the sign. I love this game. Staircase out of order. What? It actually- The staircase is out of order. You can never go up there. What do you mean, out of order? <laughs> I think that's the joke. I mean, it's not mechanical, though. I know. <laughs> I always wondered that as a kid, and I just assumed that there was like a missing step that, or like there were fake steps, or if you stepped on it, you would like fall through or something. Ooh, a loose panel. Have Let's you tried? Have you tried licking the loose panel? I don't have lick, unfortunately. This is not full throttle. <laughs> Ooh, a cassette tape. What? I'm hoping most of my viewers know what a cassette tape is. But for those of us who haven't seen one in 20 years. Chuck the plant. Let's get Chuck the plant. Wait, the, the... I can't pick that up. The plant's name is Chuck? It is Chuck. Ooh, a telephone. Let's use the telephone. Oh, it seems to be broken. Oh, We'll have to come back and fix it. Use chair. That doesn't seem to work. The chair is also broken. <sighs> What? These people put rotten turkeys on their tables and have broken <laughs> stairs? Like, or pardon me, out of order stairs. Like, what does this even mean? So we have a cassette tape. Let's use the cassette tape. 
And the cassette player. It's not the cabinet door. You should use it in the rotting turkey. <laughs> I'll try that next. Turn on cassette player. It's blank. Okay. Now we have the joy of trying to get back that cassette tape. There it is, good cassette tape. It's still playing. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> Turn off. Cassette player. I think this is one reason the PC version was more popular. Okay, you wanted me to use the cassette tape on the rotting turkey? Old rotting turkey. That doesn't seem to work. Sorry, Icon. <laughs> First the stairs are out of order, now the turkey's out of order. The turkey's out of order. <laughs> I like how they go up the stairs. Uh, keep going. Bernard, go to stairs. Thank you. <laughs> All right, open door. Open door. Ooh, it's interesting. It looks like somebody was painting something circular. Let's get stuff. Let's get this fruit. Ooh, it's a bowl of wax fruit. But we can get more stuff. Paint remover. Brush. I think that's all you can get in here, but we can look at the easel, I think. So no, he doesn't say anything. Is there a limit to how much he can carry? No. You can have one kid carry everything if you wanted to. So I was playing Fallout Shelter earlier today. I'm sorry. I like it. Anyway. I'm just kidding. I sent one of my people out into the. Game. I sent one of my people out into the wasteland. Yeah. And then I noticed they were coming back. I was like, Why are they coming back? I didn't tell them to come back. And I looked at the last thing in like their log of what their activities while they were in the wasteland, and it was, okay, I've got all I can carry, I better head back. <laughs> they were carrying already. I was like, wait, what do you mean you got everything you can carry? I started looking through it. They must have a hundred items that they've collected. I don't know how they survived for long enough to do all of that. Somehow they managed to survive for like a week. Like, I think they went five days out there and got <laughs> all these items. And I'm just like, okay. Yes, you'll notice Bernard won't play the piano, but Sid probably will. I thought Razor was the one with the band. Sid's also a musician. Mm. So we also have a cassette recorder here, which mm. is quite interesting. And we have a broken record. Let's get the broken record. Now, a record. That's getting older, the cassette tapes. It's in between radio tubes and cassette tapes, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we're going back. Oh. Daddy's... Oh, sorry. Daddy's been very strange with the secret project. The voice is backwards. Yeah, so? Oh, Mommy, I'm worried. He hasn't slept in five years. <laughs> yeah, so? He carries those bodies to the basement at night. <laughs> What's your point, Ed? A very busy lady. I actually don't know what she's doing. Never mind. I like how he looks at the audience. I love this game. Now, this room is important because it's one of the more difficult rooms to get in because she's always in it, but you can get in it. We'll sh I'll show you later. So let's use the TV. Hi, all you budding writers, musicians, and game designers. I'm Mark E. Tier. My company publishes anything. <laughs> oh, he's Mark E. Tier. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just mail it to the address shown below. Don't forget the stamp. Yeah, he's he's serious. That's not an idle threat. You need the stamp if you want to mail anything to him. It's like a Sierra warning, you know. Um, for anyone also, this is kind of, I guess, silly trivia. There, there's a picture of Elvis behind him right before he shows up. That was kind of random, but that's why I'm a nerd. Use. Use. Broken record on. Victrola. Let's turn on the Victrola and listen to the beautiful music, which Icon won't be able to hear. It's pretty awesome right there. So, um. The music's skipping because it's a broken record, so when it hits the break in the record, it skips back to a previous groove in the record, which is what I think causes that 
But anyway, we don't need a broken record, so let's turn off... Actually, I'm not saying we don't need the broken record, it's just we don't need it playing. So let's let's just get the broken record anyway. Yeah! We could mail off that broken record, I bet we'd like make millions off that tune. <laughs> So actually, I'm gonna mention real quick, I had never looked up a walkthrough for this game until just yesterday. I had never bothered to do it. I always just played the game however I wanted, but you know, since I'm doing an LP, I thought I'd do a little bit more research. And there's actually one thing in the game besides- there, there's like- I think there's a couple things that I haven't done, but there's one in particular that I want to try, and I'll, I'll show you in the next room, but... It's pretty dark in here too. Let's actually turn on... The game is particular. Not the diploma. Let's turn on the desk lamp. Can I get the diploma? Let's read the diplomas before I try getting them. Presented to Dr. Fred. It's a male amid diploma. Yeah. Docs are us diploma. Degree for mummifying and bandaging. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, how do you practice mummifying? It looks like formula is describing the structure of... A meteor! That's strange. I'm getting a lot of things about meteors here. Open desk. Uh, get... Get to desk! I'll oh, get manuscript. Let's read it. Maybe it's Dr. Fred's manuscript since this looks like his office? Looks like someone's memoir, but the writing is terrible. Oh no. Could be Sumerian. <laughs> it's written by a meteor, how strange. Oh, it's the meteor. How did he write that anyway? He has no arms, does he? He's a meteor. Medical chart. Yuck, that's disgusting. Oh, it's a real skeleton. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty. So we got the manuscript. Oops, why am I saying get door? We'll just get it anyway. Oh, I can't pick up the door. I'm so used to saying get. Come on, open door. Well, I mean, to be fair, you do say things like, Hey, hon, can you get the door for me? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if she came in and got it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oops, I don't want to close it. I want to I use it. Use air hockey table. Oh, the game is broken. How about... Uh, Tuna Diver. Let's play Tuna Diver. Use Tuna Diver game with coin box. So he called him a tuna head at the beginning of the game? Yeah. So my boss and I were talking the other day, and he goes, what's the difference between a piano, a tuna, and glue? I have no idea. You can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. What does that to do with glue? I knew you'd get stuck on that. Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness gracious, it's awful. <laughs> Isn't it horrible? That was horrible. Okay, so going up the stairs. Oh, I forgot to mention real quick. In the last room with the arcade, the games don't actually- the games weren't turned on. I was so distracted by that horrible joke I forgot to mention. The games aren't powered. We don't have a quarter either to play the games. I actually found out you can play the games. I didn't know this, and so um, I'm gonna do that in this playthrough. I want to see what happens. So, so we're up on the third floor now? Oh! Hey! Was that a tentacle? Let's go back. It was a tentacle. Ay! I can't control it. Bernard is terrified of that tentacle. He will not go near it. Which is funny because all the other characters will. Um, so while I guess I'm gonna waste a few minutes here. I'll waste it, but... Um, I'm gonna do a flip of characters. Is that like flipping a house? Nope. A lot cheaper. Okay. I've been watching way too much HGTV. I was gonna say, I'm surprised you knew that term in all honesty. A flipping a house is when you buy a run-down piece of crud and you, you make it really nice and sell it for a lot more. But there's a lot of TV shows about it because it's really stressful and people think it's really easy to do. Anyways. So, Sid is not afraid of the tentacles, so let's switch out and have Bernard on duty to get the uh, package. I actually thought it'd take longer to get that far, so... 
You'd think you'd want to feed, feed him the tentacle chow, but I believe you want to feed him... Oh, I guess I should... He... I, I guess this isn't much of a surprise, but the tentacle's hungry, actually, so you can... You can give him stuff, so... Considering how much food we have, you can give him quite a few options, but let's give him his favorite. Once I find it. The fruit drinks, and... You guessed it, the bowl of wax fruit. Hmm. So we'll leave Bernard here. I just realized why I keep wanting to call him Bernard, or Barnard, because I think the prince in Quest for Glory 1, also known as Hero's Quest, is Barnard. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, I think there's another game that you and I have played together at some point with a Barnard in it. But, um, Quest for Glory 1, or Hero's Quest, is how I knew it growing up. It's one of my favorite games. I don't think I'm gonna LP it, though, because there's plenty of LPs. Not unless, you know, a lot of my viewers want me to. I own them all, so... Alright, actually, while we're on the way up... Let's play the piano. Use... Piano. Yeah. How you can play with no hands. Jamming out there. I can't skip it, I don't think. So if you recall, there's actually a cassette recorder in here. You can actually record Razor or Sid playing the piano if you want to. Hmm. But I, I might do that later. But um, I have another goal right now. This is a pretty open-ended game. There's very few things that you have to do, and um, like it's like the the getting into the door is required. Feeding this guy is required. If I try to just walk past him, he gets upset. Feed me and you can pass. I just like walking into him. It slows the game down. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Can I push him? Um, game? Can you use the dull knife? I can't even select him for some reason. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's give him the bowl of wax fruit. Green tentacle. Well, that's my favorite. That's what I wanted. Now I'm thirsty. So now he wants the fruit drinks. Thanks. You don't want to give him the can of Pepsi, if I recall correctly. It's not a good thing to do. <laughs> we need that later. Alright, let's go in here. So it's a talking tentacle. It is, yeah. There's actually a sequel to this game called Day the Tentacle, which is hilarious. I, I might play it, after, since I've already played this one. That one's actually easier than this game. I didn't know there was a sequel to this game. Seriously? No, I didn't. I just thought it was a standalone game. Yeah, that's the sequel. The Day of the Tentacle, like, the, at the beginning of the game, this the two tentacles from this game that are talking, and it's in this mansion. I never knew that. Oh, look, you get to play the... Because I thought you'd played Day of the Tentacle. No, I never I, did. I know there's a... I know there's- oh, there it is. It's like, I know there's a light! Where'd it go? It's up into the left. Somewhere. It's like up from there, I don't know. Nope. <laughs> this is annoying. Oh, I should probably just end the video and find it next time. <laughs> well! Oh. I'm gonna find it, gosh darn it! It's like my, my cursor is going so fast that I can't seem to catch it. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time when I will find the red light. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye guys.